friends, again, you have made it to Friday. Feels like maybe let's get, maybe this is week six, maybe? I don't know, I, I don't know. Um, it is evening time in the quarantine kitchen. Um, and we're gonna do a little baking. We're gonna make a real quick little guy. Um, we are making a version of sticky toffee pudding, which is um, delicious, um, but also has, you know, a million different variations. So essentially what it is, is it's a brown sugary cake that has dates in it. Um, sometimes it has molasses. Sometimes it has a bunch of like spices like cinnamon and allspice. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's more like a pound cake. Sometimes it's less like a pound cake. Sometimes it just kind of depends. And then to it, there is some sort of component of this like toffee caramelly sauce. In some recipes, you bake the cake, you make the sauce separately, and then you just spoon the sauce on either right as it comes out of the oven or cut a slice, pour some sauce on top and serve it. Um, this one we are doing makes its own sauce as it cooks. So I'll show you kind of as we go what I mean by that. Um, so I picked it because it's one comes together in about five minutes um, and two is the easiest. You don't have to mess with knowing how to make caramel and cooking sugar and all those sorts of things. So I picked a recipe that was really pretty straightforward and pretty simple. So we are gonna get started. It is very simple. I'm making enough just to do like a little eight by eight. Um, you could scale up to make a bigger one. You could um, make individual ramekins. You could do one big one. You can, very, very flexible sort of recipe. So we're just gonna jump into it because it's, it's bish bash bosh, it's gonna be done. So we are gonna start with a half a stick. So a quarter cup of melted unsalted butter. And to that, we are going to add a half a cup of brown sugar. And we're gonna whisk it. There's no need for a hand mixer with this recipe, unless you just really want to. There's no need to get out your big um, stand mixer. You just need a bowl and a whisk and a little elbow grease. All right. To this, we are going to add one egg. It's gonna give us a nice light mixture. We're just gonna kinda of cook it until we feel like the sugar's kinda of dissolved a little bit and the egg is well incorporated. All right, the rest of our, west. The rest of our wedding ingredients, the rest of our wet ingredients are a splash of vanilla. You do like a teaspoon, I just kind of eyeball it because it's just how I roll, you know? We, we've gone over this many times already. Um, vanilla. Vanilla. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of kosher salt. and half a cup of half and half. You could also just use milk um, if you want. You could even use heavy cream if that's what you've got. Just a beverage, milk-based beverage, you know. All right, so these are our wet ingredients. To that, we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. and one cup of flour. So it's pretty quick and easy and simple. I'm gonna use my whisk to go all around the side. I move this to the sink. All around the side, get all the lumps out. See, it's a nice, really nice mixture. We're done with the whisk. I'm gonna get a spatula, rubber scraper. And to it, we're gonna add one and a half, sorry, a half to one cup of chopped dates. 
you could, I keep them in big pieces. Um, you could, you know, pulse them in the food processor to get them really fine. You could use raisins and not dates. You could, you know, kind of do whatever. The dates are really nice. They're really sweet. It's just a really nice flavor. So you're gonna chunk them in. And mix them all together. Make sure they're not all lumped together in the middle. And this is our sticky toffee pudding batter. I have greased this pan and I'm gonna put the batter in. Get every bit of goodness out of the bowl. All right. Then we're gonna spread it around in the corners. Okay, so all we're gonna do now is finish um, putting the components for the sauce um, in with the cake. So it's a cup of brown sugar. It's a lot, I told you. It's a brown sugary, toffee, sticky, sweet, delicious cake. So there you go. So we're gonna take this cup and we are going to scatter it all over the top of this cake. So good. Then I've got about a half a stick of butter, unsalted, and I have cut it into cubes and I'm just gonna scatter it around. This butter is what's gonna help make our toffee sauce at the bottom a little more creamy. It's gonna help it come together a little more than just sugar and water. All right, now here's the weird part. Now for some of you, this next part might not feel so weird because um, if you make a traditional pudding cake ever of any kind, you pour hot water on top. And as it cooks, the water creates sauce with whatever else you put on top with it. It sinks down to the bottom and creates kind of an inverted situation. So the sauce is on the bottom, the cake is on the top. So you will see momentarily. Need a cup and a half, so this is a little more than I need. And it just gets poured on top. This is going to go into a 350 degree oven. For 30 minutes, 40 minutes, so I'll, I'll check it in 30 minutes and see and then add some extra minutes as uh, as needed. So I'll see you when it comes out of the oven. People, while this baked in the oven, I um, we had a jam in the disposal, so we fixed that. It was a team effort here in the Razzle Dazzle Castle, which is the name of my home. I don't know if I've told you that. But our sticky toffee pud has come out of the oven. This is it. You can see all the little like cracks. That's where the like butter and caramel sauce have like worked their way through the cake. And um, there's like this gooey deliciousness of sauce that's like coming up the sides. So I'm about to scoop a big old chunk of this out and you'll see it. You'll see. I'm gonna aim down, aim down. All right. Oh man. And you just kind of turn it out on top of itself and you have this nice caramelly sauce with bits of the date. The cake is really, really moist and tender. And here's sauce from the bottom of the pan. So this is our sticky toffee pudding. It's easy peasy. It breaks up the monotony of life. It's a new dessert, something new, it's exciting. Tomorrow, we are going to finish our last day of the international week no one asked for but I'm giving it to you because I can. It's my kitchen. Um, and we're gonna make Abel skeevers, which are, is cool, you'll see, um, it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna eat this, my roommates are gonna eat this, and then we're gonna go to sleep. So I will see y'all tomorrow, bye-bye.